Hi, welcome to the lesson on solving linear inequalities. So before we get started, I would like to state that you can solve inequalities in the same manner that you would solve linear equations. Now there is one exception to this rule and that is if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must reverse the, the inequality symbol. So let's go over some examples with the first one being x plus three is less than or equal to six. So of course you know your ultimate goal is to isolate x. So we're going to do that by subtracting three on both sides of the inequality symbol. So here the th positive three minus three cancels out. So we're left with x is less than or equal to three. And notice when you plug this three back into the original equation, it's true because three plus three is six and six is less than or equal to six, right? In this case, it's equal to six. So let's go ahead and go over some more examples. So let's say that you're given something like four X plus eight is greater than or equal to 6x. So here, get all variables to one side and all numbers to the other side and reverse the signs of the numbers in that process. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have 6x on the right side of the inequality and 4x being on the left side of it. So let's go ahead and move 6x over to the left side by subtracting 6x. We're going to do the same thing with numbers, except we have an eight here. So we're going to get that to the right side of the inequality by subtracting eight. So now let's go ahead and get rid of what we do not need. So we have positive eight minus eight, which cancels. Six X minus six X cancels. Four X minus six X is negative two X is greater than or equal to negative eight. So now we need to isolate X. So we're going to divide by negative two and notice we are dividing by a negative number. So we need to reverse this inequality symbol. So that will become less than or equal to. So the negative twos cancel, we're left with X is less than or equal to negative eight divided by negative two is positive four. So let's go over some more. So what if you're given something like six X minus four times two X plus three is less than 7x. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring down the 6x. Let's get rid of parentheses by distributing this negative 4 to each term within the parentheses. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8x. Yep, negative 4 times positive 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12 less than 7x. So notice on the left side of this inequality, we can combine like terms because we have 6x minus 8x, which gives us negative 2x minus 12 less than 7x. Okay, so Let's go ahead and get 7x to the other side of the inequality by adding, um, by subtracting 7x. Okay, we're going to do, do the same thing with negative 12. We're going to add 12 to get it to the other side. So let's go ahead and get rid of what we do not need. So negative 12, plus 12 cancels, 7x minus 7x cancels, 
negative 2x plus negative 7x is negative 9x less than positive 12. Okay, let's get x alone by divided by negative 9 on both sides of the inequality. Okay, so when you do that, the negative 9's cancel, you're left with x is, and reverse this symbol because we are dividing by negative 9. All right, and this will, um, let's see, this turns into negative 4 thirds, or as a mixed number, negative 1 and 1 third. Okay, and let's go over one more. So let's say that you're given something like 3x plus 7 is less than 2 times 6 minus x plus 3 times x minus 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this down, 3x plus 7 is less than, let's get rid of these parentheses by distributing this 2 to each term within the parentheses. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times negative x is negative 2x, bring down this plus, distribute it distribute the 3 to each term within the parentheses to get rid of the parentheses. 3x. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So now let's go ahead and see if we can combine any like terms. On the left side, we do not have any like terms, so we could just bring it down. 3x plus 7 is less than, and we have negative 2x as well as positive 3x. So negative 2x plus 3x is x. You don't have to write a 1 there because you're looking at 1x. And then 12 minus 24 is negative 12. So now let's go ahead and move x to the other side by adding x. I mean, by sub not adding x, by subtracting x, I'm looking at a positive x. So minus x. Okay, and let's go ahead and move the numbers to the other side. So we have positive 7 here. We're going to subtract 7 to get it to the other side. So now let's go ahead and get rid of what we do not need. So positive 7 minus 7 cancels. x minus x cancels. We're left with 3x minus 2 3x minus x is 2x is less than negative 12 plus negative 7 is negative 19. Divide by 2 on both sides. And we're left with x is less than negative 19 halves or negative 9 and 1 half. Okay, so that's all we have for this lesson. I hope it was helpful and I look forward to working with you in the next lesson. Thanks.